Hello everybody, Average Joe here, and as promised, in Minecraft we are. Yes, you're what I am. Not kidding. <laughs> we have our teleportation pa pa hey, pads, and I've set up a base for them. The key is this multimeter. It's how you program them. It's kind of like a tesseract. What you do is you sneak, right click on it, set up sand generator that's the location where this is and where we want it to go now we need to tell it to go somewhere so I've set up some Star Trek like teleportation pads here to go back and forth this is our one that we want the Nexus our return point now, as you can see, the sand generator is already in the place. But we want this one to stay the way it is, I think. But let's go over here and set this up to sand generator. This is sand generator one. Now, the key to making this work is setting its destination. This is the place where it is. This is the place where we want to go. Hit that little plus button. And it'll give you these lovely little lines here. Now, this should give us our little... There they are. There's a little liberty suction here to make it look like we're... Shoop! And here we go. That one was sand generator. Now, to get back to the Nexus, we should have this one set to Nexus and set this one to Sand Generator I think yeah there we go now this one will teleport us back in every location we have to have one for the other now this one is working like this do we have our working system here well come on be a good boy. I work for daddy. I thought I had a grasp on these things. Come on. Where is button? There's button. Alright. Now. Why didn't that work? This one shouldn't work either. But, but it worked once. Why isn't it working? You're full of power. You've got your destination. Destination set. Ah, there we go. Apparently it's a loading thing. So, we have to wait. These things take a little while to reload. Gotcha. Come on. Interesting. Well, this is a great way to transport yourself to, to multiple different places if you set up these two places back and forth. So we'll just go like so. And do a little bit more. So while we wait... I put too much glass. Now this should be ready to go. Aha! There we go. We have our teleportation pads. Yay! Now, this isn't the only part of this video. For we are going to set up the translocation pads as well. So we're going to go here and then go up from here but first we need to connect you to power so la -de -da -de -da. poop I went the wrong way that way not that way where are you there you are straight 
Eventually I'm going to fill that up with stuff and make it so we don't have to use the creative box anymore. But for now, we're just going to make it into power. There we go. Yeah. Instead of our teleportation pads, we're going to use our extrusion pads. These will go up and down. As you can see, this lovely little beam has started. When you stand on it, you raise up. It's a great way to make a sci-fi elevator, but it has a limited height, which is about right here. So, let's create a landing space for that. Not of those. <laughs> This is going to be an itty bitty short video because this is just a little bit of tech to make your bases look a little bit more sci-fi like. So this is going to be its maximum height right about there. So we build a ceiling here and go two down because our bodies are about two down and form a ring around it. And then we could just simply hop on our beam and go right on upstairs to an upstairs of this place. Which will be our space for our AE network. We'll be like so and just get off the the beam and voila, floor two. Now this is a quick little elevator thingy. This is our teleporters. Now, yeah, will this work? It should work. Haha, -ha, yes it is working. Haha, -ha, yay! Teleportation and excursion pads. You're frozen. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so we need to build ourselves a little pattern for this, because, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I also need to fix whatever that sand thing is causing a problem for. But yeah, this is our teleportation and excursion pads. We made it a little bit of fancy by using some chisel items and some Futura blocks from Chisel 2. Oh, they're all from Chisel 2. Oh, interesting. Technical blocks to make it look like vents. Uh, circuitry pa blocks here. Now, why is that looking like that? I am wondering... I'm confusicated. Oh, okay, so we don't need those over there. Because we want this pattern to look straight. To make it look like, yeah, like that. Now this look harkens back to a classic Star Trek original 1960s version Star Trek pad without the lights above. But we got a little teleporter pad, our catches to make the matter stream go, and little wires to make it look like the energy is going its way. Uh, I wonder. Should I make another one on this side? To f yeah, we'll do it that way. To finish the look. This is, chisel is nothing more than stuff that looks cool. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff in chisel. In fact, let's go there and show it off a little bit. Chisel. If I can spell it right. Chisel. There we go. We've got rugs, carpets, uh, caution stripes to make things look fancy. Beacons and chisel? Okay. Anti-blocks. I have no idea what those are. Stuff that has no covers on them. Blocks of aluminum. Stuff with fancy labels that will probably break the world if we use them. Arcane stones. Oh, really? But yeah, just about any item that you can think of in this game. Oh, wow, there's even cloud blocks. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, diamond block, purple obsidian. Cool. There's fancy blocks. Ooh, what are those? 
What are does doing there? Yes, I know. I can already hear the meme now. Cool. Fancy looking. Not needed, but fancy looking. Wire flames, fancy glass of different types. Lots and lots of different things for it. Ooh, different types of bars. Bars. Error. Loading. Ooh, we can make fancy lights, too. Cool! Valentine's blocks. Somebody got really ingenuitive here. <laughs> There's lots of different pinks here. Fancy torches. Light bulbs. Yay! Candles. Thamium blocks. Oh, okay. That's something from Thermacraft, I think. Thalmacraft. Thalmacraft. The magic one. That we'll get into later. Magic will be, once we get our tech build, smashing rocks. Right click to throw. This will turn a cobblestone into gravel. Oh, these are cool. I wonder how you make those. <coughs> okay, that's easy enough. Cloud in a bottle. Nether quartz glass. Right click. This will throw a spawn a cloud. That looks interesting. I wonder. Let's go throw a cloud down there somewhere. Onto that tree. <coughs> wow. <laughs> nice thing about the clouds in this game is some of them, not like those ones, some of them will be able to where you could stand on them, land on them. The only problem is, is you eventually fall through them. <laughs> but still, that's cool. Neat little gadget. But anyway, if you like the video, sorry it's a little short today, but uh, I have a few ideas for the moment. I'll get some more soon. But uh, we're going to set up some more teleportation pads to all of our platforms. Because up there is going to be our AE network above this. We're going to set up our power plant below us. And then wire it up there. Uh, we are eventually going to start digging in the actual world for resources. But we'll have... What the smoky are you? Sorry, I'm curious. It's purple. Uh oh, taint and a lot of it. Oh goody! I need to resource how to fix that, cause yeah, th tainted soil. Cause yeah, it's claimed quite a bit already. Nee, that's not good. I'll have to deal with that later. But anyway, this is at, uh, Average Joe here saying TTFN, ta-ta for now, and I will see you after these messages. TTFN, bye.